Hello everyone, this is KTTV, your source for things that I happen to be interested in at the time. Today we will be talking about scientists creating life in a lab. Well, kinda. The researchers at the Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla, California created RNA that self-replicated and even evolved and competed with other RNA rivals without the help of any proteins or other cellular components. RNA is a close cousin to DNA. More accurately, RNA is thought to be a primitive ancestor of DNA. Once the replication started, the process continued. The scientists then mixed different RNA enzymes that had replicated with some of the raw material they were working with and let them compete. Remarkably, they bred and mutated. When these mutations occurred, the resulting recombinant enzymes were also capable of sustained replication with the most fit replicators growing in number to dominate the mixture. Professor Gerald Joyce reiterated that while the self-replicating RNA enzyme systems share certain characteristics of life, they are not life as we know it. Gerald Joyce states, What we found could be relevant to how life begins, at that key moment when Darwinian evolution starts. Another scientist said that what the researchers did is equivalent to recreating a scenario that might have led to the origin of life. To talk more about the religious connotations of this article, our religious correspondent, Jay, will give a few thoughts on the matter. Thanks, KT. Well, what are your thoughts on man creating life in a lab? Well, first of all, I think it is unlikely man will ever create life because it's something only God could do. But if man could create life, I don't think it would hurt theism. It would just prove that life would need a creator. It would also show how superior God is because no matter what man does, he cannot create life just by speaking it into existence. But what if we are able to show that intelligence isn't necessary? What if we show that if all the right conditions are in place, then life will form on its own? Doesn't this experiment show that we are getting closer to this? I don't believe so. But even if we did show that life can be created without intelligence, I don't think it would hurt theism. It would just show that God is powerful enough to create a universe that can create life on its own. This report reminds me of an old um, saying I heard. A group of scientists tell God they don't need him and say, I know how you created life and I can do it myself. God says, okay, show me. And the scientists proceed to pick up a handful of dirt. God says, no, that's my dirt. Make your own. It's arrogance to take parts that God created, jumble them around, to create something resembling life, and then think we know how God did it. I do like how humble these scientists were to say that they didn't create life, but I think they should stop. Humans should not be playing God. Besides, we already know how life came into being. We know it from the Bible. That is all we really need. Well, thanks, Jay. Do you agree with Jay's thoughts? Please comment below and give us your feedback. Until next time, keep living and keep learning.